today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic which was uh, you know uh, which came up actually in the last stream in the previous one where people were asking about the taints and the tolerations uh, what are they how they work and uh, you know uh, basically people usually get confused in the in the taints and toleration concept so i i'll try to simplify the concept and uh, make sure like uh, we'll try to uh, you know uh, make you understand the concept of taints and toleration uh, apart from that we'll also look at node affinity so first node affinity then taints and tolerations so first of all node affinity uh, so we are talking about scheduling scheduling means like whenever you create a pod or a deployment where that pod actually goes to which node that pod actually goes and runs the application so for that we have uh, various concepts and one of them is node affinity so node affinity is basically where your pods can actually be scheduled based on the labels of the node now you might be thinking that it is the same purpose of node selector yes it is it is similar to node selector but with much more deep meaning with much more expressive language and you can specify like hard and soft mechanisms to uh, you know uh, for for your nodes. Now uh, we have two uh, things which is in the node affinity, which is required during scheduling, ignored during execution. This is the uh, hard way of doing it. Next we have is preferred during scheduling and ignored during execution. And this is the soft one. Now uh, this one means only run the pod uh, on the nodes with X Y Z labels. So it is required. So these are the required set. And the preferred ones would be like prefer running them on this. If not, uh, like if there is no other option, then obviously you have to run. Uh, you, you can run on the different ones like um, but prefer running on this node. But if this can't satisfy some of the other things, then uh, we cannot. So ignore during scheduling is actually uh, same, but I think in future there'll be more options with respect to this particular word. Uh, and if labels are changed at run times, uh, like nothing would actually happen. Uh, so if, if the uh, so if if you change the node labels that are uh, if you uh, if you change the node labels at the runtime and some pod is already running and it doesn't have that uh, labels, so you so that pod will be running. So means the ignore during execution means the labels you, you are changing on the node during the execution time will be ignored if the for the pod which is already running on that node. Now oh, that makes it clear. Next one is um, your example. So uh, you have a pod, you have uh, metadata for that. Now in the spec section of the pod, we define something called affinity. In that we define a node affinity. In node affinity, we have defined uh, required during scheduling and ignored during execution. And there are the node selector terms. You can have multiple node selector terms and at least one of them should be true. So we are now matching the expressions. Now, how we match the expression? We say key, which is the uh, key for that. And operator is in and the values are this. This means a pod can be scheduled with this particular label and either one of these values onto this node. A pod can be scheduled with Kubernetes.io slash ATV is at label value any one of these. So if that particular uh, pod, if, if it is uh, this particular pod, uh, so this particular pod will be uh, scheduled on the node where you have these labels. Now, if multiple nodes uh, meet the above criteria then uh, prefer node matching. So this one will prefer that. So if multiple nodes uh, are meeting the criteria for the pod to be scheduled, then prefer the one with the label uh, this and the value this. So prefer the one with the label, uh, which is in the, in the preferred section and the value with this. So that's how the node affinity works. Now, people often do get confused in node affinity and taints and toleration. So now, uh, according to the official definition, uh, node affinity is the property of the pods. This one, node affinity is the property of the pods that attracts them to a set of nodes uh, because you are defining the affinity that it is, you know, uh, attracting towards the node. Whereas taints are the opposite. They allow the node to repel the set of pods. Now, it is basically restrictive. Now, I am telling the node uh, you know, not to take up these set of pods. 
Now let us try to understand with a with an example. I don't know how much relevant it would be, but I just came up with this. Uh, so let's say you have a you have a party, you have a birthday party, or just any other party, or maybe a coupon party. And uh, in the party, the dress code mentioned is red. So you have a dress code which is red. Uh, now there are friends. There are three friends: uh, blue, green, and red. And they they decide to go to the party, but uh, you know. Out of that, only one person has dress red. So that means uh, only person with the dress red can be can attend the party. So you are understanding, right? So treat this as a node, and this particular node can only uh, take something with label uh, with with the taint. Which will I, which I'll explain in the in the next section with a taint uh, has a taint uh, called dress red, and uh, so all the pods, all the pods, and in this case it is all the all the people which do not have the toleration will be rejected. So blue comes, it's rejected. Green comes, it's rejected. But or uh, any pod with the toleration, any pod with the toleration dress red will be admitted. So that's how you can relate, and I mean, can be a weird example, but uh, might stick to your heads. Uh, now let's uh, uh, try to understand in in proper Kubernetes way. On a node, so obviously Kubernetes, uh, you have uh, uh, this. This is your Kubernetes. Let's say it's a control plane, and these are your worker nodes. Okay, uh, so this is one of the node. Now, in this particular node, in this particular node, we have a taint applied. Okay, we have a taint applied. Now, that taint is foo, which is the key. So, it is in the form of key, value, and effect. This is equal key, value, and effect. So, in this particular case, there is a taint which is set on the node. Which is called foo equal to bar with the effect of no schedule. That means any pod that comes without any toleration would not be scheduled to this particular node. Now suppose if a pod in a pod we define a toleration. Obviously uh, there are use cases which we'll definitely talk about. Now if we have a pod with toleration. Now, in the toleration, we have specified key, which is foo, operator, which is equal, value, which is bar, effect, which is no schedule. So everything is actually matching. So foo is matching key, our value is matching, operator is equal, so foo is equal, the effect is no schedule. So everything is matching. So this particular pod can be scheduled, can be scheduled on this particular node. Now, uh, we are restricting the pods from entering the nodes, but we are not saying that any of the pod with this particular configuration has to or will definitely come to this node. It has the toleration. If the scheduler picks node and test against the taints and toleration, this will satisfy and will be scheduled. But there can be a scenario where you have, uh, where you have a pod and you have multiple nodes so uh, and uh, the sorry we are already made this so you have a you have a, you have a pod over here and you have multiple nodes now this particular pod is having a toleration against this node uh, but these two nodes do not have any taints itself so the pod can be scheduled here as well so if we want to schedule specifically on a particular node then we define node affinity then we define node affinity now we want it to be scheduled on a particular node. We want to be scheduled it to a particular node. Then we specify node affinity. This particular scenario is we are just telling the node uh, that you will only accept the pods which have the toleration to this particular taint. You will only accept the pods which have the toleration to this particular taint. If not, then do not accept. If any pod with toleration comes to you, then accept. But that pod can also go to some other nodes without any toleration, which is also fine. So, but we are restricting the pods to be scheduled on the node. Uh, 
and affinity we are telling the pod to be scheduled on a specific uh, set of nodes or a specific group of nodes that we have defined uh, with our with, with us so uh, with that uh, i think now that is clear few other things on uh, uh, the operator so there are two operators uh, exists and equal uh, now in equal by default obviously it's equal and when you specify equal or non specify you have to provide a value so there should be a value which is equal to and exists is if if it just exist so if it if it in just exist on the node uh, then also you tolerate uh, that then then also the pod can be scheduled so exist no value is uh, required now there are three effects so this is the effect and uh, it is no schedule it is prefer no schedule and then it is no execute so no schedule is please do not schedule the pod please do not schedule the pod that do not have the toleration for this state do not schedule the pod that don't have the toleration for this state prefer not to schedule please try not to schedule pod which do not have the particular toleration for this state but if there is no other option then you can but prefer not to no execute it is same as no schedule with one thing extra which is pod eviction that means in no schedule if you uh, if you have a uh, so this is node 1 and it has uh, two pods running already now you apply a taint of no schedule on this particular node these two pods will still be running even if they don't have the toleration now you uh, don't put the no schedule one but you put the no execute one as soon as you put the toleration uh, sorry the taint on the node uh, with the effect of no execute the pods which are already running and not having the tolerations for that taint will be evicted so they will be evicted from the node so that is the difference between no schedule no execute so you have so right now uh, till now what we have learned is uh, we have a taint uh, so we have node affinity where we can define like we can uh, you know uh, we can uh, supply to information to the pod so that they can be scheduled on specific nodes second is we have taints and toleration so taints are applied on the nodes taints are sorry taints are applied on the nodes and we tell them uh, the like any pod without any toleration should not be entering the node and pods uh, sorry toleration is applied on the pods so pods we specify the toleration okay you uh, this particular pod is having the toleration so it can be scheduled on the nodes use cases very important use cases dedicated nodes you can have dedicated nodes for specific purposes and uh, only pods uh, which are required or the applications which are required to run on those dedicated nodes should be on those dedicated nodes so we will be having dedicated nodes we'll be having taints on those dedicated nodes and then the pods which we want to be scheduled on that dedicated nodes we will apply toleration to that should be clear special hardware uh, you can have you know uh, specialized hardware with more cpu and more ram and you want heavy applications to be scheduled on that nodes and not other any other applications so we will put a no execute or no schedule label uh, sorry uh, taint so you will put a no execute no schedule taint on that particular node and only the pods a uh, memory hungry or cpu hungry pods uh, we will give the uh, toleration in the spec section and next one is taint based evictions so this i already explained like you can have um, um, you can maybe you have changed or maybe some policy have changed where you are required to apply some taint on the node and you also want to evict any other pod on that particular node which is not following the toleration so you will be putting no execute over there now you must have wondered uh, like whenever you set up like i i showed you the setup right of of qadm uh, cube adm uh, plus container d 
so very simple setup uh, i i took uh, like four instances from cvo and uh, then ran uh, each of the commands from the gist that i shown previously i like i can again share the link no issues with that and then you'll be getting a, a, a four node cluster where one is control plane and three are uh, the uh, workload where your workload actually runs now you must have wondered like why my pod doesn't get scheduled on the control plane node why does it uh, not why do the pods do not get scheduled on the control plane node uh, there are some other things which are also there uh, and there is one one extra thing that you can define here which is called toleration seconds toleration duration or toleration seconds something like that i'll, I'll confirm uh, just after we close this presentation so that means if you specify example no execute uh, so that will obviously no execute will evict this spot. But if you have the seconds defined over here, like 3600 seconds or some seconds, then those pod uh, will be still running for this particular duration and then they'll be evicted. So it is helpful in some, some scenarios. Okay, so I was talking about the default taints. So the node, so this is this small piece of snippet is from the docs. I will show you where the docs are. The node controller automatically taints a node when certain conditions are true. The following taints, taints are built in. So Kubernetes.io not, not ready. So node is not ready. This corresponds to node condition ready being false. So this is automatically added by the node controller. And uh, uh, then you have your, um, there is a no schedule on the uh, control plane as well. That is put when you initialize the cluster. I will show that as well when we move to the demo section. And we have the unreachable, we have the memory pressure, node has a memory pressure, then this taint is added, a node has a disk pressure, this taint is added, node has a PID pressure, this taint is added, network is unreachable, this taint is added. So that is taken care by the node controller. There are different set of controllers uh, that, that are there, uh, node controller, DMS set controller, deployment controller, so all these controllers. So node control is the one which is responsible for all these, uh, uh, adding the taints to the nodes. I mean, obviously there are other responsibilities, but this is one of them. So these were the default taints so i hope uh, the confusion between no definity taints are cleared and i hope the concept of taints and toleration is clear like what is a taint taint is applied to a node what is the toleration applied to the pod when a taint is applied there is no toleration the pod will not be scheduled when a taint is applied and there is a toleration which matches the taint uh, then the pod can be scheduled on that particular node. There is no guarantee if a pod, uh, if you have a node uh, with taint and a pod with toleration, then it will definitely go to that node because there can be other pods which do not have the uh, any any taints and it can go to the, that as well depending on the, what scheduler chooses. So, yeah, that's pretty much it from the theory point of view. Uh, we now move to the demo section. Before that, I will quickly show you the taints and toleration docs. So these are the docs. Now, uh, these are all the concepts and obviously we'll apply the taints and we'll apply the toleration house and, and see how, uh, how it works uh, actually. And these are the taint based eviction that I was telling. I just want to show you. Yeah. So it was toleration seconds that you can uh, you know define. So Kubernetes automatically adds a toleration for node not ready and unreachable with. Uh, 300 unless you or a controller set those explicitly and also if you apply specifically the no execute uh, taint you can uh, toleration uh, so you can uh, you know specify those toleration seconds toleration seconds is, is a good thing then um, yeah these are no definity one so i'll paste the link for that as well no definity So we'll be doing the demo for teams and toleration. Cube serial get nodes. So we have a control plane node. Uh, we have free worker nodes where the pods are scheduled. There, there obviously can be some of the uh, scheduled pods, which are OK. I'll remove this particular thing. Cube serial delete pod hyphen hyphen force. OK. So cube CTL get nodes. We have four nodes. We can do a cube. Let's do it on this one. Cube CTL describe node. 
I wrote it twice. So you can see uh, we don't have any taints. So in the taint section, it is null. So we don't have anything. So what we do is, uh, if we want to find uh, like taint from all the nodes, uh, the simple trick that I use is kubectl get nodes. So I get, so I get this order. I get this order. Now what I'll do is I'll do a kubectl describe node and uh, grep for taint. It will give me in same order. So this will be for the control plane. This will be for the worker one. This will be for the uh, worker two, and this will be for the worker three. And uh, what we can do is let's have a pod. I already have a pod uh, spec. So let's see the pod spec. So we have a pod spec which do not have any toleration, which do not have any toleration. So what we'll do is we'll first taint the third one because there is no tainting and we'll try to see like how to taint the node. So the command is very simple, kubectl taint then node, then the node name, then what taint we want to imply, apply, let's say uh, siam equal search magic. Okay, and with the effect of, we can choose the same effect that is there for all. And we can see that the node is tainted. So now if we rerun this particular command, which was this. So we should see another one appearing in the last one. So this is for the control plane. And I told you like the control plane already uh, comes with a node. So this is a default taint that comes while the during the installation of the cluster. So we have the node role Kubernetes IO master node schedule. So which means that no none of the pods will be scheduled on the master node. And it should actually be the case in, in reality. Also, you should not uh, schedule any nodes to the uh, master node. So uh, which is a good thing you should not and uh, next is these are the ones that we have manually applied now there are taints on all the nodes and if we have a pod it should not be scheduled so let's see so kubectl um, apply hyphen f pod dot yaml pod is created get pods the pod is pending pod is pending kubectl describe pod it says there is no um, no node available failed scheduling so one node has attained foo bar that pod didn't tolerate one node has attained foo, foo double o bar that also is didn't tolerate one node has uh, had a taint of uh, master that is also didn't tolerate and another one had search magic that also does not tolerate it so we have four nodes all the four are uh, you know uh, tainted what to do now what can i do so it's very difficult right so what we'll do is we will uh I, I have another pod spec so let's see that we've added toleration so pod two dot yaml so this is the one uh and this is the section in the spec so you can specify the tolerations in the pod spec section so you have uh, your key foo and uh, the operator is equal the value is far effect is no schedule so it should uh, be tolerating this particular node which has a taint of foo bar so let's apply that kubectl apply hyphen f pod 2 the pod is configured kubectl get pods it is container creating because we added a toleration now it should go on I think node, oh sorry, worker one. Let's describe that. Worker one is having the taint of foo bar. Okay. So now let's see kubectl get pods hyphen white. Absolutely. So it went on worker one. So it tolerated. So it had the toleration that uh, it can be scheduled on a node which has a taint of foo equal to bar. Uh, another interesting thing. So uh, we can see that we have a few pods which are like worker one and uh, in, on worker one. So what we'll do is uh, we, we'll see another scenario of um, um, the eviction scenario. 
so we'll put no execute how to do that first we'll, let's remove the taint so kubectl so we, we'll run the same command uh, i'm not sure how much back okay and we will not choose this one because we didn't do this so we will we have worker one this one okay and we have the taint as foobar perfect now in order to remove the taint from a node you just have to you just have to add minus symbol so that node becomes untainted so let's do kubectl describe node step taint you can see the taint is removed from worker one and uh, what we'll do is we'll add a taint of no execute so it is tainted with no execute we see the pods have been terminating because they evicted the pods from this node is if it evicted so that's what i was telling you so if you have the no execute one the pods will get evicted from the nodes i hope now you are able to understand the concept um, you know how you can apply the taints how you can remove the taints how you can apply the tolerations on the pod so pod uh, 2.yaml how you can apply the uh, tolerations on the pod how you can um, you know uh, apply the no execute one and see the eviction so how the eviction happens so i think all these scenarios we have covered and uh, that that was the main goal uh, to you know make you understand how the taints and the toleration the eviction process uh, they actually work so most of the people get confused in this i hope this particular stream helps you to understand the taints and the toleration concept in detail and uh, for more reference obviously you can go uh, to the documentation uh but i i have seen i have gone through the documentation and i have seen like uh, the documentation itself talks about all these concepts uh so the preferred uh, no schedule and uh, the no schedule and the no execute and then you have these are the effects and then you have your uh, uh, what you call the operators which are exist and the equal uh so that can be that that is there but example wise i think that that uh should uh clarify some bits Yep. So that was pretty much it uh, that I had for today. And uh, uh, thank you so much for tuning in.